Hey everyone, it's Aneta and Mongo here with K-pop Oracles. We're bringing you another K-pop tour reading. Today we're going to be doing a little career reading on Irene of Red Velvet. Now, so yes, we're just going to ask the cards a few questions. You know, like what is going to happen to her career this year? But let's see what are her current struggles. Let's see what are her current struggles at the moment. What are Irene's current career struggles? Avenois. Avenois. It says, make peace with your past. Yes, the past is haunting her and it's hard for her to kind of let go. She could be ru ruminating a lot or just beating herself up about some past issues. It's hard for her to kind of break away from it. Okay, we have Samadhi. Samadhi, it says perfect acceptance. Hmm, it could, okay, this could mean people are just not willing to accept her for who she is or just kind of feeling like she's neglected. And also, it could also mean that she may be hard on herself as well. Maybe she, she it's hard for her to kind of embrace or be content with what she has. Protection. So it's protection. Set personal boundaries. Okay. Feeling like everyone's out. Uh, everyone's all up in her grill. Everyone's like, you know, just like wanting to know everything about her, or just like have no boundaries, or unfortunately, or just feeling like there's a um, per, like a invasion of privacy going on, and it's just it feels like she has no control, unfortunately. Okay. So let's see what is going to happen to her career this year. What is going to happen to Irene's career this year? We have the King of Earth or King of Pentacles. Ah, okay. The King of Earth or King of Pentacles is... Um, it usually indicates someone who is really successful. Someone who is has financial security and also prosperity someone who turns any like you know projects or anything like into gold like they have the Midas touching thing so it could be that she might find success or she might be like this king of pentacles this year just someone who's really accomplished someone who's charismatic someone who stands their ground too and it's just like doesn't let shit get to them and it's just also a sign that whatever project she takes on this year it will turn out very well it'll turn out something into something beautiful and I think she may have some support too, maybe like some like sometime this year. There's gonna be someone around her who's gonna wanna wanna be that uh, I guess that shoulder she can cry on or just have her back. So it's almost like a parental figure that might come into her life. Okay, we got the five of earth or five of pentacles. Okay, so five of earth or five of pentacles tends to have a negative meaning. It can mean just feeling isolated, feeling like left out, or just feeling like someone did you dirty. But on a more positive note though, okay, it can mean just reaching out to someone for help. So I think she's gonna like, gonna realize like she can't do everything on her own. Like it's, it's really, it, she's gotta reach out for some, some backup and um, yeah, okay, so I feel like right now she's feeling like she has to do everything on her own, but um, there's some people who who are, I guess, would be really supportive or also help, like, give her a helping hand. So she may have some fears about, like, not getting enough money, or just money in general. We had the Queen of Water, a Queen of Cups, another card that represents a strong support system. Yes, so there's going to be someone who is going to be really kind towards her, really compassionate, like want to 
um, protect her. And it, yeah, it just seems like it's, yeah, it's either a family member or just some friends who are gonna, gonna like help her get through the tough times. And we got the six of swords or six of air at the bottom of the deck, which is an indication of like uh, whatever drama she's dealing with, it's gonna, it's gonna go away. Most or will most likely go away. It's going to be a, a sign uh, like the ending of a challenging situation. Um, it's going to go from, yeah, so this situation that she's dealing with, it's going to go from like being shitty to pleasant or calmer, right? So uh, it's, she's going to be able to kind of feel like a, a sense of relief and find a, also peace. So she may do a lot of traveling a lot too. You are pure magic, huh? Okay. So, okay, we are pure magic. What I what I'm getting from this card is that I think people will see her as just someone who is very strong, just really charismatic, just someone who is captivating. So I think she may develop a bigger following maybe this this year. I feel like people may be drawn to her magic. Your reality is a reflection of your inner world. Your reality of is a reflection of your inner world. Uh, okay, so I think right now, yes, right now it's just like it's all turmoil and stuff. And then I think like she's gonna learn to kind of um, have more control, or she's gonna have more control of, of like this difficult situation. And um, I think pe people will start seeing her in a, like a in a positive light. Surrender to rest and sleep. Hmm. She may be losing sleep right now over these issues, and I think eventually she'll. Yeah, make time for herself, make healthier adjustments, get enough sleep, or not like, you know, lose sleep over this like pettiness or stupid situations, you know, or whatever like situation she thinks is like dramatic or too much. Surrender to divine timing. Yeah, she may be like trying to like do a whole lot to kind of um, what you call it. I guess control a situation, but then I think she's gonna realize okay, um, she probably just you know wait for the right moment to act or just go with the flow or just kind of trust in the universe that things will work out in her favor. She's, she may develop more patience with herself. We have the blue tit, the blue tit. Yes, I think she, yeah, so I think she's gonna like really follow her intuition more and also um, kind of listen to her, her needs more versus like what other people need, like I guess other people's needs. Just do her, like do her, like I guess, yeah, just focus on her stuff more. have ostrich ostrich yes I think we may see a different side to Irene I think we're gonna see like a really more down-to-earth side someone who is very humble very grounded someone very practical someone who stays calm when dealing with a lot of crap uh, but she'll still be something there, there'll still be like a like a magic about her like or there'll still be some 
something magical about her. Like she'll still draw some people in. It's just we're gonna see a more mature side of her. Okay, what messages does the universe have for Irene? Okay, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Oh, that's beautiful. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Oh, key. Last message. My vibes speak louder than my words. Yeah, it's almost like saying actions speak louder than words. Okay, yeah, so I think yeah, we'll definitely see a new side of Irene in a good way, okay? And that is all I have for you, and I hope you really enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Tana, thanks for watching. Bye.